Like, share and subscribe. When your love has gone platinum. Most of the 2.3 million Americans who'll tie the knot in 2006 dream of making their wedding the epitome of elegance. They've seen the incredible wedding bands that Sandra Bullock and Jesse James exchanged vintage platinum and diamond and they want the same sophisticated look both for themselves and their wedding party gifts. And the first rule for making that happen is know what's hot and what's right for you as opposed to what works for Sandra and Jesse. Platinum settings add an exceptional layer of luster to jewelry and complemented by this year's hottest gemstones canary diamonds, rubies and pearls that means that brides and grooms have a multitude of options. If your intended is adventurous for trend savvy, rings with bright multicolored gemstones by Samuel Getz could work. For the more classic or romantic woman popular designs include Kirk Cara's vintage inspired platinum rings with filigree decorated bands. Although many brides choose wedding bands that complement their engagement rings it's becoming less common for couples to have matching bands. That's opened more choices than ever for men in particular, who with wedding bands having become must-have for them too can now opt for more unique masculine styles, from designers like Furrer Jacket, Jeff Cooper and Zoltan David that feature wide, brushed platinum or platinum bands with bezel set diamonds. Accessories and wedding party gifts. Given the importance of the rituals preceding the big day bridal accessories should reflect the bride's individual flair. One way of doing so that appeals to many is by going for an antique look, with precision set or tackery jewelry when it comes to their necklace bracelet and earrings. A tip it's also a great way to incorporate the something old tradition. And if you're looking to make a statement by giving your bridesmaids and ushers pieces that often turn into family heirlooms consider delicate platinum pendants from Sooner Brothers. Lace Collection for Women and Platinum Cufflinks by Herco for Men When planning the details of your wedding remember that your platinum rings and bridal jewelry are the pieces that will last well after the gorgeous three-tiered wedding cake has been eaten, says jewelry and style expert Michael O'Connor. Platinum's natural density will hold a diamond or gemstone securely for a lifetime of wear. When do I order and send out my wedding invitations? It's my recommendation that you order your wedding invitations at least four weeks prior to mailing them out to your guests. This will allow you plenty of time to receive your wedding invitations and double check your order to make sure you've received everything you ordered and no mistakes were made. It will allow you enough time for a reprint is needed. It will also allow you plenty of time to address all the envelopes. Wedding invitations should be mailed out so that your guest will receive them at least two to eight weeks prior to the wedding. This will allow your guest enough time to make travel plans and return the respond card you included with your wedding invitation. Typically the respond by date should be two weeks prior to your wedding date. This should allow you enough time to make your final preparations. You'll have many other things to take care of as your wedding approaches and the last thing you need is to have to rush to get your wedding invitations addressed and mailed out. There will undoubtedly be last-minute names to add and address changes to deal with so please allow yourself plenty of time to accomplish this task. When it comes to engagements, manners matter. With marriage proposals modernizing into an anything-goes mentality, long-standing proposal customs are often considered optional adding confusion to what's considered proper when it comes to proposing. In fact a recent proposal survey conducted by Corbell Champagne Sellers revealed that 68% of Americans agree that there's no right way to propose. Corbell and etiquette expert Peter Post weigh in on some of today's most discussed proposal etiquette issues, meet the parents. This is a common question and an area where the rules have slightly changed. The concept of asking your intended's parents' permission to wed may seem old-fashioned but the modern equivalent isn't discussing your plans and intentions with your future in-laws is still a sign of respect. On bended knee, one's considered a sign of servitude to the lover this tradition dates back to the days of knights and chivalry and continues to evoke romance today. But if you think you'll be weak at the knees when proposing, pick another pose that's comfortable for you. Romance rules decide on what your intended will find sentimental and memorable and incorporate meaningful gestures such as asking for her hand at her favorite restaurant. As etiquette guidelines evolve with the times, planning a proposal can be confusing and overwhelming. That's why, Corbell is once again helping men and women make their ultimate marry me. Moment a reality through the Corbell Perfect Proposal Contest. Judges will select three first prize winners and Corbell will bring their winning proposals to life just before Valentine's Day, 2005, 
including an exclusive round signature diamond engagement ring from Blue Nile created from among the top 1% of all diamonds in the world. The grand prize winner will also receive a honeymoon cruise on Norwegian Cruise Line. When giving perfume as gifts. A favorite gift to give whatever the occasion, whether it's a birthday, Valentine's, Christmas or anniversary, is perfume. Perfumes are perfect gifts to cherish and are very much appreciated most especially when it turns out to be your favorite scent. Giving perfume as a present knows no boundaries whatever is the gender, nationality, race, religion or age. Both men and women enjoy wearing their chosen fragrance and even young ones at that. Perfume though is something personal given that each and every one has her own preference. This is the reason why some are hesitant to purchase one as a present for fear that it may not be what the other party likes. But once you know the recipient's fave choices giving perfume as a present will always be welcomed with open arms. In your perfume selection there are several important steps to consider. As much as possible secure information as to what favorite scent or perfume the gift recipient likes to wear. So as not to ruin a perfect surprise you can casually pop the question over a casual conversation or if you happen to be living with that person you can do some investigation by raiding his, her closet on what type of perfume he, she likes. If there's that one particular scent that the recipient adores buy a bottle of that fragrance and don't limit yourself to perfume only. You can buy the perfume from your favorite local perfume store or shop or you could purchase one online and have it shipped directly to the recipient. You'll be amazed at the many amazing deals and discounts that you'll find being offered on the net. Plus you get a lot more choices. Always check the return policy if you are not sure on whether or not the recipient will appreciate the perfume brand you chose. Here are some additional helpful tips. If the perfume recipient happens to be in a very close relationship with you like for instance a sister a close friend or your daughter and you didn't find out what he or she particularly likes choose a scent that you like. Just ensure though that you could return and have it exchanged in case the recipient doesn't share your taste. The selected perfume should be appropriate for the recipient's age. The young ones actually prefer light scents over the heavy ones. If unsure of your recipient's taste go for eau de toilette or eau de cologne instead in terms of perfume concentration. Lastly bear in mind that a perfume's price is extremely variable. You can find some for just less than $10 while others can cost $100 of dollar. Iced possible to have a fairy tale wedding on a shoestring budget. In the ebook How to Have Your Fairy Tale Wedding on a Shoestring Budget, Melinda Barton shows you how to have that dream wedding without spending a fortune. She takes you through some of the important industry secrets that help you to ask the right questions and save money. While the website promoting this ebook is a bit hypey and includes some bonus ebooks which sound good but are not of any great value, I found the main 83 page ebook to be packed with very useful material. Melinda takes you from the basics of organizing and budgeting through to buying advice for rings, your dress, music, venues, flowers, photographers and more. Melinda Barton is an international wedding planner who hates to see brides spending money unnecessarily. One of her favorite moments was wearing a $3,575 wedding dress that cost her $680. She believes with the right advice anyone can do the same. In How to Have Your Fairy Tale Wedding on a Shoestring Budget. I found it reassuring that it starts with the right planning foundations and progresses to all the exciting stuff. It's all too easy to get carried away and find you've no money left. The advice on each topic is well structured. For example the four pages on wedding dress selection starts with general guidelines to consider before you start to shop then looks at ways to save money and key questions to ask suppliers to fairly compare prices and not get caught out. The level of detail in this ebook leaves you feeling more confident as you're not entering an unknown situation. Instead you're armed with a good starting knowledge of what to expect before you walking the door. Apparently there are over 176 ways to save money. These methods are often obvious once they are pointed out but you need either this book or someone who has done it all before to point them out. Sometimes you'll be surprised that there are alternatives to consider rather than following the paths that everyone else does. One very useful and time-saving section is right at the end where you'll find a 15-page section with well-thought-out planning sheets to help with budget record all the prices you get quoted as well as three pages of comprehensive checklists counting down to the big day. The ebooks makes a bold claim that the advice could save you at least 50% from your wedding expenses.
Does it measure up? If you follow the majority of the advice you'll certainly make some good savings. You'll certainly save more than the cost of the ebook. The book comes with a 90-day no questions money back guarantee if you don't save at least 10 times the ebook cost. One weakness I found is that I would have liked to have seen more advice on negotiating for the best prices. Asking the right questions from the ebook will help but some guidance on easy negotiating tactics would have greatly boosted the value of the ebook. If you want to quickly grasp the essentials of good planning and making all the main purchases I recommend this ebook and give it a high recommendation and 8 out of 10. For more information on Melinda's book How to Have Your Fairy Tale Wedding on a Shoestring Budget please visit http colon slash slash www.weddingplanningsecret.com Hopefully Melinda will create some more ebooks on other wedding related topics. Maybe with some real life bridal tales from her wedding planning experiences. Hiring a band for your wedding. It's what everyone looks forward to in their lives the big day, your wedding. It has to be special in every possible way not only are your emotions special but so should be all the arrangements for the occasion. You would obviously want to revel in the glory of your wedding reception which should have a right mix of food, music and flowers etc. However your music can give that added edge to your celebration by changing it from just another wedding to the wedding. So if you need to make that extra effort to thrill your guests and yourself on your special day then do take care of some things while hiring a band for your wedding. Following are some steps to facilitate the task for you. Ask for names of bands from newly married people, wedding consultants and site coordinators or clergy. The wedding venue needs to be checked for any restrictions regarding noise or space restrictions. Then you need to decide what kind of an atmosphere do you need at your wedding guests dancing in groups to country music. Or perhaps a mellow reception with soft jazz in the background. It's simply a question of your own taste and mood. You should ask the band to give you their audio tapes or a more reliable version would be video recordings of the band's performances. You need to keep in mind certain things like how do they interact with the audience and what variety of music do they play. Ask the band for their playlist and make sure it has a wide variety of sons to suit the taste of maximum number of guests. Next is the question of the space that the band would require the equipment that it would need and your personal room arrangements with regard to their space requirement. Another important thing to consider would be the number of band members and whether all of them are required or not. The next step will be the execution of a contract with the band. The playing hours, the number of sons, the number of breaks that they would take. The food rate, the cancellation and refund policy, the clothing, the MC, etc. Now you need to know whether your wedding band has insurance or not. Also you need to know if your wedding band can act as the master of ceremony. You should also be aware of the number of years your band has been playing for weddings. There are certain personal questions that can vary from person to person for instance if you want that for your dance with your parents as well as well as your first dance together you wish that the band should compose a new song then you should look into such details before finalizing your contract. The band is not just responsible for keeping your guests on the floor but also coordinating with the photographers, managers etc. so that all the events are handled properly. You need to take special care while choosing the band members as you need people who are not only good performers but fun, sensitive and excited and should be open to your suggestions too because the situation demands improvisation at times. You should prefer a band that has played at wedding receptions before rather than going in for a novice band as the veterans are well familiar with the flow of events and can double as MCs too. You also need to ensure that the band arrives well in time as they would require time to set up their equipment and you don't want any unnecessary pressures on your big day. Armed with this knowledge we hope that you'll be able to have beautiful music on your very special day. Set the atmosphere of a wedding with the right wedding invitation wording Set the atmosphere of a wedding with the right wedding invitation wording. It's important that wedding guests are aware of the type of event they will be attending. This is easily done by choosing the right wedding invitations and wedding invitation wording. These tactics will help set the atmosphere for any wedding. Oftentimes the bride and groom will have guests attending the wedding that they may not have seen in a long time or possibly never even met. These people could be distant relatives or old family friends. Since this will be the only line of communication between the guests and the bride and groom it's important that the wedding invitation wording conveys the atmosphere of the wedding. 
It would be embarrassing to show up to a casual beach-themed wedding wearing a gown or showing up to a formal event without a tie. This is remedied by choosing the right wedding invitation wording. The wedding invitation wording can convey whether the affair is formal casual or has a special theme. The guests will know an event is formal if the wedding invitation wording is kept formal. The same can be said for a casual wedding. The bride and groom also need to consider the backdrop to the wedding invitation wording and that is the wedding invitation. These should also express the overall atmosphere of the wedding. A simple and elegant invitation indicates an elegant wedding. The bride and groom can also incorporate their theme into the invitation. The wedding invitation wording should not be difficult to choose. Every wedding invitation retailer will have many examples of different wedding invitation wording. These examples will cover the entire spectrum from casual to black tie. The bride and groom may choose one of these examples or they can mix and match the examples to suit their needs. If the couple chooses, they can also write their own wedding invitation wording. Regardless of the wedding invitation wording that the bride and groom choose, there is certain information that must be included. Obviously this includes the date, time and location of the wedding ceremony. Additionally the bride and groom should include their full names. Remember those distant relatives and family friends who will need to address cards and gifts but may not know the name of the bride or groom. If someone other than the bride and groom is hosting the wedding, then they should be acknowledged on the invitation. Finally if the reception is at a different location or at a later time then this information should be included as well. All of this information is easily inserted into any pre-written examples of wedding invitation wording. The atmosphere of any wedding can be set by choosing the right wedding invitations and wedding invitation wording. This should not be a stressful decision for the bride and groom since so many examples of wedding invitation wording are available. Perfect wedding hairstyle Medusa and a glass of bubbly. Hairstyles and headdresses perfectly matched are a complimentary duo for any bride on her wedding day. What you've to remember when deciding on your hairstyle is what may suit others may not necessarily be the right style for you. Practice makes perfect so try out different hairstyles in the mirror just to get a mirror image of yourself. This will give a little insight as to whether you clip your hair up for the wedding or let it lie on the shoulder. A mental picture of your wedding gown is good to have at the back of your mind when choosing the hairstyle or better still if you can have it on at the time will make all the difference in helping you with your decision. If the wedding dress is an off-the-shoulder design then consider letting the tresses flow but if the gown's collar is high-necked like Victorian times then consider styling the hair up. The shape of your face is another major factor taken into consideration when picking a hairstyle. If your present style is a look-alike of Joan of Arc do not despair the longer look can be achieved with hair extensions. Having the perfect hairstyle is very important and why not as this is a very essential part of the bride's whole entity that will add the finishing touches in making her feel just the way she should on a day as special as this. Sort out an early appointment to talk to with a hairdresser. Find a stylist that holds a good reputation among your friends and family. Make sure after the consultation you're comfortable with your choice of clipper go through every fine detail of the hairstyle that you would like. He, she can or may give their professional advice on your chosen style but if you are regard not happy with what they propose then stand your ground. At the end of the day this is your wedding so the choice is yours. Elegant hairstyles that are quite stunning are the French twist or braids creatively enhanced by woven pearls. To help emanate romance let the hair down. Short hair can be highlighted by adding decorative little menageries rosebud a feathers hair jewels extensions can help fulfill your dream of having the perfect hairstyle. Magazine browsing is a must for ideas if you're undecided on the hairstyle that will complement your wedding dress or face features. Make arrangements with the hairdresser to have a practice run it may cost but it will be worthwhile to claim the style you crave. Another good idea is to bring along your headpiece e.g. tiara, cap for the hairdresser to fit at the same time. Make sure the hairstyle is compatible with all dance moves especially the ones after a few glasses of bubbly if not then a guaranteed Medusa look. Matrimony in the digital age, wedding websites. There's a new method of keeping your wedding memories alive that is gaining popularity among the young couples of today the wedding website. Wedding websites are an online collection of images and stories detailing every facet of a wedding. Everything from choosing bridesmaids dresses to ordering the cake and hiring the band is recorded and included on the wedding website. 
Many couples keep their wedding websites up and running after the wedding to serve as a sort of interactive online wedding album, hosting pictures from the ceremony, reception and honeymoon. One of the nice things about creating a wedding website for yourself is the flexibility that the process offers. You can include as much or as little information about your wedding as you like. The site can be used as an electronic go-between, keeping family and friends updated and informed about the tasks you're completing in preparation for your wedding day, informing your guests of any last-minute changes in planning and letting everyone know details such as where you're registered for wedding gifts. The site can include a blog that you can update as often as you like, allowing you to share every detail of your wedding experience if you so choose. You can also offer your guests the ability to RSVP online put up guest lists so everyone knows who's coming to your special event and post an interesting history that describes how the two of you met how long you dated how he popped the question and any other amusing or romantic anecdotes you desire. If you choose to create a wedding website there are a number of ways you can go about it. There are web hosting sites online that specialize in setting up and hosting wedding websites. Most of these offer easy-to-use do-it-yourself website building tools. If you're proficient in web design or own web design software like FrontPage or Dreamweaver you can get even more flexibility by designing the site yourself. You can also hire a professional web designer to create your wedding website for you. The wedding website concept is just one more way that weddings are stepping out of the realm of ancient traditionalism and into the information age. Modern technology has created a wonderful way for you to be able to share your wedding memories anytime, anywhere with anyone that has a computer and access to the internet. Now you don't have to worry about whether Aunt Edna in Sioux City will ever be able to see your wedding photographs. You can just send her an email message and give her the URL of your beautiful wedding website. Your wedding website is timeless too. As long as you keep paying the hosting price for web hosting very greatly but can be very low for this type of site your wedding website will remain online forever allowing you to look back many years from now and remember your wedding like it all just happened yesterday. Keeping personal information personal on MySpace. MySpace is an incredible online community which gives members the opportunity to make new friends reconnect with long-lost friends, network or even meet potential romantic partners. While there are many great social aspects to using MySpace it is also important to note there is the potential for predators to be lurking on MySpace. These predators may either be non-members who simply comb member profiles in search of useful information or they may be members who create profiles which mask their true identity and foster online friendship for devious purposes. In general the harm which can come from using MySpace could be either physical or financial. This article will discuss how MySpace members can avoid physical or financial harm by keeping their personal information personal. Avoiding physical harm. Those who agree to meet online friends in person put themselves at risk for physical harm. Although in many cases agreeing to meet an online friend in person will not lead to any problems there is always the potential for your online friend to really be a harmful predator. Not agreeing to offline meetings is the most obvious way to avoid this type of danger. However there are other precautions MySpace members can take to avoid the possibility encountering their online friends in person. Not posting information which can be used to track you down can help to minimize the risk of physical harm which results from interactions with MySpace members. The most obvious information which can be used for this purpose is a full name and an address. Additionally a telephone number can be used to find out your address. The are not the only ways predators can find you. For example if you've pictures of yourself posted on your MySpace website and post a blog entry about your plans to visit Disneyland on a particular weekend internet stalkers can use this information to find and abduct you. Posting about weekend plans may seem harmless but those who know where you'll be and what you look like can find you even in a crowded location. Also if you post a blog entry mentioning you'll be out of town and also include your full name and the city you live in savvy predators can use this information to determine your address and burglarize your home while you enjoy your vacation. Those who use MySpace and don't make their website private should be aware that any information they post can be viewed by others who may have malicious intentions. Keeping this in mind helps members to realize they should be cautious about the type of information they divulge on MySpace. Avoiding financial harm. 
The information on a MySpace website can also be used by internet predators to commit identity theft or other types of financial fraud. When using MySpace care should be taken to avoid giving out sensitive information such as full name, address, social security number, credit card numbers and bank account numbers. This type of information can be used to commit identity theft and the results of identity theft can be financial ruin including bankruptcy and damaged credit. Also the result of identity theft can be difficult to reverse. Even if the predator is caught in his actions, it may be many years before the victim recovers financially. Having fun with jacket scrubs. Just because your career is within the medical community doesn't mean you cannot have fun at the workplace while still having your own unique identity. In fact medical apparel is quickly gaining in popularity simply because there are so many designs, cuts and styles to choose from that the sky is the limit when it comes time to purchase your medical uni for milliseconds. Jacket scrubs are just one piece in a much larger category of fashionable medical designs. When you need jacket scrubs the first step is to understand the importance of high-quality scrubs. With high-quality scrubs you get protection, and you aid in keeping the workplace environment sterile and clean. Scrubs are specially designed to negate loose buttons, zippers and strings so that those cannot be grabbed by little fingers or snagged on other objects. Scrubs are a basic design in clothing, and the jacket scrubs add a bit of utility and functionality to the job. For instance the majority of jacket scrubs consist of numerous pockets. Those pockets are useful for carrying small, important items without the need to run back and forth between patient and station. Carrying a PDA for medical references. Consider wearing one of the numerous popular jacket scrubs so that you can carry your PDA in your pocket for instance access. One of the outstanding benefits of jacket scrubs is that you can easily get that customized embroidery look without hassles or a lot of extra time. Jacket scrubs are a popular addition to any medical wardrobe and designers want to bring you more than you expected. When choosing jacket scrubs, many people choose to have those scrubs customized with embroidery. However unless there are a lot of options for colors and fonts utilized in the creation process, you'll find you're limited. When you need special you need perfection. Urbane. Peaches and Dickies are just a few of the popular companies manufacturing top quality jacket scrubs at affordable prices. These companies offer excellent design quality while exceeding your own expectations. Of course purchasing designer scrubs means you get a high quality product but did you know you also save money in the long run? Yes it's true. A high quality product will last longer, have more durability and cost you less over time. When you want to save money, purchasing high quality is the way to go. Wanting to save money is possible when you purchase high quality jacket scrubs. Just because you demand the best doesn't equate to you spending more money. Discounted medical jacket scrubs are popular and finding awesome deals is not far away. Keep your eyes and ears open and those low prices will fall into your lap. The next time you're looking to purchase some popular and attractive scrubs, adding a jacket to the ensemble will complete your whole look. You'll find that you've a simple piece of medical attire that works with just about anything and for any occasion. So the next time you're looking for high-quality medical attire, giving those scrubs an accessory like a jacket is an investment with high returns. When use this simple process to choose the perfect groomsman gifts. With so many details to handle for your big day it can be easy to rush when it comes to choosing your groomsman gifts. There are many standard gifts that you can easily give that will be appreciated but will they stand apart as special and even more importantly will they really thank your groomsman for being there for that you and serve as a reminder of this important relationship. With just a little thought traditional items such as hip flasks or cuff links when selected as your groomsman gifts can have personal meaning and become treasured items even heirlooms to be passed down for each of the recipients. To choose a perfect gift run through the following process for each of your groomsmen before you start shopping and you'll be surprised with how easy it's to be able to check this item of off your groom's things to do list. First think of the person himself. Does he have any unique or special interests? Is there a special event taking place or that has recently taken place in his life? Is there a saying that he's known for using? Second think of your relationship with him. Is there a hobby that you share? Did you meet in a funny way? 
Does he always call on you or you on him in certain situations now with this type of information in the front of your mind preferably jotted down let's look at how it can help with selecting the perfect groomsman gifts. Perhaps one of your groomsmen has just purchased a new home maybe his first a gift of home bar accessories might have been nice before but now becomes thoughtful and special when engraved with his new street address. Or maybe one of them has just had a new baby a money clip or pen set takes on new meaning when engraved with the child's name and date of birth. Or is there someone a hip flask or business card holder proudly displaying a favorite phrase would be perfect for. See the difference that some thought can make in personalizing the token of your appreciation. If you prefer to only select a unique best man gift but give the same gift to each of the groomsmen think about all of them collectively. Is there something that you all have in common other than participating in your wedding? It's possible that you all could have been in the same fraternity or follow the same sports team or graduated from the same university. If that's something meaningful that you all share it might be special to emphasize with the gift such as cufflinks with your school initials or insignia or a hip flask with go on it for the next time you all get together for a game. If there's nothing from your joint past to draw from use this as an opportunity to create a future memory perhaps beer tankards with an invitation for you all to gather for a boys brew pub night after the wedding frenzy is behind you. It shouldn't be hard with a little forethought for you to be able to identify something that you can draw from when choosing each of your groomsmen gifts. It can even be a fun break away from reviewing the guest list for the umpteenth time. Take a break kick back and think of all of the times you've spent with these friends and the reasons that they're your groomsmen to begin with those kinds of thoughts and memories are really what a special day like the one you're about to have should be made from. Terms and conditions. Legal notice. The publisher has strived to be as accurate and complete as possible in the creation of this report, notwithstanding the fact that he does not warrant or represent at any time that the contents within are accurate due to the rapidly changing nature of the internet. While all attempts have been made to verify information provided in this publication, the publisher assumes no responsibility for errors, omissions, or contrary interpretation of the subject matter herein. Any perceived slights of specific persons, peoples, or organizations are unintentional. In practical advice books, like anything else in life, there are no guarantees of income made. Readers are cautioned to reply on their own judgment about their individual circumstances to act accordingly. This book is not intended for use as a source of legal, business, accounting or financial advice. All readers are advised to seek services of competent professionals in legal, business, accounting and finance fields. You are encouraged to print this book for easy reading. Don't leave before you press like button below and subscribe to this channel. As a subscriber you will receive a new notifications every time a new video is uploaded. Good luck.